Hey, so today we're doing another tutorial and it's another interior scene. So on the last video, I got a few requests to do another tutorial in a bit detailed way. So this video is broken down in a few chapters. So this video is only about 3D modeling and placement of assets. The following video that will come on the channel will be about texturing, lighting and rendering. So yeah, let's just get started with the video. So I started with modeling the table and I started with a circle shape. I extruded out the edges and I'm just duplicating the cylinder a bunch of times to get the legs of the table. Uh, yeah, that's basically it and I'm just moving the legs around where they're supposed to be on the table. And at last I'm just gonna finish it with uh, beveling the edges. Now as you can see these objects are not connected with each other that can be a problem when you're dealing with multiple assets. So a good practice is to create an empty as I mentioned in my last video. So you create the empty plane axis. Now I'm gonna scale it up. I'm going to select everything in the scene then I'm going to deselect the empty and then I'm going to shift right click on the empty again Control P and parent to object this way if I move the empty now every object will move with it another good practice is to make every select everything and put it in a different collection this could be very useful when you're dealing with a lot of assets in the scene So to model the sofa, I started with a cube, I put subdivision modifier on it, I just bumped up the samples a bit, put a loop cut right in the middle and I deleted the right part. The idea is that I'm going to apply mirror modifier now. So everything that happens on the left side is going to be replicated on the right side of the cube. Make sure you put the mirror modifier above subdivision to avoid any problems. I'm just make, getting that curvature of the sofa as by my reference. Now I'm going to insert a loop cut to get that curved almost spherical like shape at the end of the sofa. I'm just duplicating to get the base of the sofa now and uh, just playing with the shape. And now I'm just inserting these two loop cuts so I can get this inseam that was there in my reference. To model the chair I started with a plane and I extruded it out to get the chair like shape just with a plane and I added subdivision modifier to it and then I added solidifier on top. Make sure you add solidifier above subdivision so you get these rounded edges. Now I'm just gonna play around and get the basic shape of the chair. I'm just gonna shut up now and you can see what's happening on the screen. I, I place another plane to get the cushion on top of the chair and I'm basically using the same principles again adding subdivision and instead of using solidify this time I just extruded the face outwards which is basically the same thing if you would apply the solidify modifier. To get the legs of the chair I started with the cylinder and I ended up extruding a face of the cylinder and tilting the shape to the desired shape I wanted. The rest of the video is just modeling the remaining decoratives and just filling up the environment and everything else is going to be dependent on the placement of the assets and the composition that you will create with the camera angle and this is the composition that I ended up with. So hope you enjoyed the first video in the series. Probably the next video is going to be the final one showing lighting and rendering and texturing. Please let me know in the comment section below if you would like my help on anything or would like me to create a video on something that you want. You can find me on my Instagram here. You can also join my Discord server and contact me directly if you are having any trouble with any of your 3D scenes. 
and you can check out some of my work on our website all the links are in the description box below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye